Good morning, St. Thomas More. Just have three quick uh, reminders as we move into the winter months. First of all, uh, uniform as it gets colder, I know it becomes a challenge because you come in from the outside and you're wearing a sweater. Please just remember that when we ask you to be in uniform, it's not an option when you're inside the building. You really need to be in uniform at all times. So if you're leaving your classroom, you're heading outside, carry your sweater with you, put it on as you get outside. We need to be able to identify who the STM students are in the hallway. And that starts with the sweaters. So please uh, try to be mindful of that. Again, I just reiterate very quickly that the uniform is about safety. It's not about control. And so please uh, adhere to that. <clears throat> Number two, I just want to remind students that all the adults in the building are to be res respected at all times. Uh, you do need to take their direction. If you, are get, if you get asked for whatever reason, you may think that you are uh, unfairly treated or that they got the wrong person. If you get asked to report to the office, you have no option but to report to that office. And that's your chance to tell your story. But walking away from a teacher or showing disrespect is not going to be tolerated in the building. And I know a lot of you have not been in school actually for quite a while, so you're getting used to these rules. But these rules uh, are, are rules that need to be followed. Uh, number three, and really this was the, the reason for me coming on more than anything today, is I want to talk about behavior in the community. I know, first of all, that 95%, maybe even more, of our STM students behave themselves very well and proudly wear the uniform and represent the school in the community. However, uh, not, it's not 100%. And that 4 or 5% or however many it is actually causes a lot of problems for our school. And I just want to make sure those students who behave like that know what I'm recommending to the community when they come across a student, for example, vandalizing, littering, stealing, fighting, worse. Okay, the recommendation to the community is call the police because we as an administration, as much as we try, are not going to be able to police the four plazas around here. And so you're going to be facing a double whammy of consequences if you choose to uh, conduct yourself in that way. Uh, you're going to be facing school consequences because we are going to find out what you did and how you did it with the hundreds of witnesses that are there. The, the nature of the beast nowadays is that everything's pretty much on camera. So as soon as something goes awry, we're eventually going to get that video, which we obviously actually have for what happened yesterday. But then you're also going to be facing police consequences. Now, again, I reiterate, I know it's a very small percentage of our students, and I know that a large percentage proudly wear the St. Thomas More uniform, as you should and you represent our school well. And I just ask that that, loud, that majority become a little louder with reporting things that you know shouldn't happen. These people who live and work in our community, they're making a living. They live in our community. They're, some of them are parents of students. And we're just, at times, not representing St. Thomas more very well. And if you continue to behave like that, you're going to be suffering, like I said, double consequences. And finally, I'll tell you right now what happened yesterday at the plaza, at, at uh, the No Frills Plaza yesterday around midday. Uh, I'm about an hour away from closing this one off. And I'll tell you right now that if you were involved in that, you should make your way to the office and, and pr present yourself voluntarily. Otherwise, you'll be in my office and I will remember that I gave you this warning and that you chose not to come down. So if you were involved, make your way down to the office. Have a wonderful weekend. Good morning, STM. My name is Ainsley, and here are your announcements for today. This past week, your junior boys vol volleyball team played their final three regular season games with a win and a loss against Bishop Ryan and a win against Bishop Tonis. Miles Hampson came up with some great hitting. Abraham Julian provided a game-clinching hit. Nico Monte and Land Landon Tran came up with some hard-working receiving. With the results, your junior Knights finished in a four-way tie for first place and a record of 11 wins and three losses and will play Bishop Tonis in the quarterfinals at home Tuesday. Practice at, on Monday at 2.30. Go Knights! Last night in junior girls basketball action, your Lady Knights took on Bishop Ryan in the second game of their home at home matchup. Your Lady Knights stayed off of a last minute charge by the Celtics and came out victorious, winning by a final score of 44 to 35. Izzy Morrow put in another monstrous performance with 22 points and Grace Amendolia chipped in with 13 points. 
Another job well done, ladies. Over the last couple of days, the STM Cross Country team participated in the GHAC Cross Country Championships at Hilton Falls Conservation Area in Milton. Um, congratulations to are extended to all the members of the team. Special recognition goes out to Lydia Immorelli, Tatiana Pinelli, Alyssa Mule, and Sadie D'Angela for placing first as a team in the Hamilton Catholic and third in GHAC. In the Junior Girls Division, Emma Burke placed first in Hamilton Catholic and placed in the top 10 in GHAC. Congratulations also goes out to Mackenzie Scanthan in the Junior Girls Division for placing second in the Hamilton Catholic. Finally, a special congratulations to Olivia Dodds for placing first both in the Hamilton Catholic and GHAC Senior Girls Division, finishing a minute ahead of any of the other runners and qualifying to represent STM at OFSA Championships on November 8th. The co coaches are extremely proud of all of our athletes. Thanks, STM. STM. I'm Giselle from your student council here with a quick message. We'd like to remind you that vintage jerseys are still available for purchase on school cash online. New spirit wear is also available and can be picked up at the student council office during the first 15 minutes of your lunch period on Tuesdays and Thursdays after purchase. We'd also like to encourage you to check out our Instagram story at STM underscore council to take part in a candy jar contest and participate in the last round of the Halloween Movie Emoji Contest. Lastly, in the spirit of Halloween, the Student Council has prepared a school-wide Halloween Kahoot. If your class wishes to participate, please keep your TVs turned on and await further instructions. Have a happy yet safe Halloween, STM. STM, that's all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. Have, Have a great day.